Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is now just less than three months away from its official release by director J.J. Abrams and creator George Lucas that is all set and ready to end the sequel trilogy and the Skywalker saga itself. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, what's really exciting about Episode 9 is that we do know that this film, at the end of the day, is going to, of course, have a lot of different twists and turns that's going to change how we view the past eight Star Wars films that come before this one in the prequels and the originals, which could very well be a good or a bad thing, depending on how Disney and Lucasfilm are really going to utilize certain characters and story elements of Episode 9. Now, on top of all of this, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to one of the big plans by Disney, Lucasfilm, JJ, and George, this is where things begin to get very intense for a particular scene that is said to top the I Am Your Father moment. Now, it's described that during the rewrites of the film for the months of November and December of 2018 is when George Lucas was heavily involved with the adjustments of the second and third acts of the movie. It's explained that one of the big goals between Abrams and George Lucas was to do something incredible with the final scene of the movie that is described to be bigger than the I Am Your Father moment that will have to do with Rey's lineage. Now, it's explained that Rey's lineage in the final scene of the movie has to do with her being connected to two different bloodlines in a very unpredictable way by J.J. Abrams and Lucas, where it's said to take place on a very familiar world from the original trilogy. Now, additionally, it's explained that George Lucas directed the scene and wrote part of the final scene with J.J. that is described to top the I Am Your Father moment from The Empire Strikes Back, where the final scene is said to provide closure to the Skywalker saga, while also inserting some ambiguity of what the future may hold for Rey as a character. It's explained that the scene took roughly one month to fully complete with writing and filming, and that the scene is actually said to be a sequence that is said to also have a special score by John Williams that will serve as a brand new iconic theme for the Skywalker saga. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now, a lot of fans are going to express this in different ways. Now, I will say that there's no way that you can, that you can really top the I Am Your Father moment. I've talked about this numerous times before in the past and the main reason being of course is that nobody was expecting such a reveal you know back in the 1980s with the Empire Strikes Back and of course back then there was no internet so nowadays you know we pretty much have an idea of what's gonna happen at the very end of episode 9 here and there when it comes to the biggest revelation of all in the Rise of Skywalker apart from many of the other twists and turns that are going to be a part of this story so with that being said, the final scene is said to be the very scene that will top the I Am Your Father moment and has to do with Rey being connected to two different bloodlines. Now this could very well match directly up with what we talked about recently about Rey actually being connected to both Palpatine and Skywalker in a very predictable, in an unpredictable way I should say. So with that being said, this movie does have a lot going for it, it does have the opportunity to mark itself as the best film of the Skywalker saga, or should I say the sequel trilogy, I must add, and the potential to really be a fan favorite of the Skywalker saga, right? So, if they can really manage to make it the best of the sequel trilogy, I think then, and only then, a lot of fans are going to talk about it in a positive sense for years on end, after this movie releases come this December. And that's the thing about the character of Rey, a lot of fans have always been wondering about, you know, why she's so powerful in The Force Awakens, is that going to be explained in Episode 9? Thankfully, Daisy Ridley was able to confirm this over at D23, she was able to state that everything that you need to know about Rey, and everything that you have wanted to know about Rey, will and definitely will be answered in Episode 9, every single question related to her lineage, Rey's parents, where she really comes from, Rey's origins, you name it. So the fact that George Lucas was able to direct this particular scene that is aimed to be bigger than the I Am Your Father moment really does speak volumes to me because it tells us that it's going to feel like an authentic scene that is also, I must add, said to take place on a particular world that is very familiar to Star Wars fans from the original trilogy era, which could very well mean that it's on the world of Hoth, Tatooine, the forest moon of Endor, it could quite possibly be one of those planets and or worlds slash moons, right? And that's the thing about this movie is that this movie is going to have a lot of callbacks 
to the prequels and the originals that's going to be used as a way to tell many of the different twists and turns related to the sequel trilogy based characters such as Rey and Kylo Ren. And that really is a big deal, you know, not just to us, the Star Wars community, but also to the Skywalker saga itself and how it's going to flow from start to finish. So we do know that the Death Star 2 is coming back in some way, shape, or form in the form of wreckage. That's one major component of the original trilogy. And the final scene is also going to serve as yet another major component of how the original trilogy continuity will be inserted into episode 9. Anyways guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. And I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah, no.